What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's us. Let's get productive. So, it's always super exciting for me when I come across a company that I really click with in all categories. For me, those categories are sound, aesthetic, and attention to detail. When I find a company that pays attention in all of those categories, I usually get something really dope out of it. I usually end up with an instrument that I use a lot. So that brings me to this next company that I wanna talk a little bit about, and I wanna talk a little bit about their new VST. The company's name is Mantra Instruments, and the VST is called Mandala. This thing is really cool, really powerful, and has some very unique features that I think you guys are really gonna love. So we're not even gonna waste too much time on the intro. We're gonna get right into this thing. Mantra Instruments, Mandala. Let's get right into it and see what this thing can do. Right now I have Logic queued up, and this is Mandala by Mantra Instruments. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download Mandala. It is kind of like a sound engine player so you could think of it kind of like a sample player and it houses a uh, mantra instruments sound sculpture series of of sound engines mantra instruments has a sound sculpture series of instruments that you can purchase and it'll play on the mandala vst so after you download mandala and you download any of those sound sculpture instruments you're going to want to click right here where it says please load a sound sculpture instrument now the sound sculpture instruments I have is Arca, Atma, Oracle, Rasa, and Ultrasonic Death Whistle. But I believe they have a few more instruments and with this company you can tell they're definitely gonna have a lot more on the way. These are just the five that I have at the moment and um, we're gonna go through some of those instruments and talk a little bit about what they do. But before we get into that, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to go over the UI and break this thing down. Now, one of the dopest things about this VST, one of the things I love is how they have seem to integrate their UI into the functionality of their VST and have them interact with each other in a way that is super creative. Pretty much anytime you do anything in regards to the effects, so like, um, you can change the intensity. I'm going to change that right now. The UI actually reacts to the changes you make with the effects. So you have your X, your Y, and your Z effect. X is contrast. Y is intensity. Z is ether. Your, your contrast is the equal logo. Uh, the circle logo is the ether logo. And your intensity is the triangle logo. And as you make those adjustments to whatever sound it is that you pick, the uh, UI will change. As you can see, the UI is moving as I'm changing the effects. Now, the really cool thing about it is the UI doesn't just change, but it actually changes in conjunction with whatever changes you make sonically. So, for example, let's let's just pick a sound. So let's go to bells. Let's go to this. We'll use this as an example of what I'm talking about. All right, now I'm playing those keys. Say I up the contrast a little bit. You see the hands coming out the ocean. The hands were a little bit, the hands were a little more euphoric and as I up the contrast of that sound, the sound got a little more euphoric. Say I changed the intensity. As I turn up the intensity, the image gets a little bit more intense. You have this guy's head popping out the water and he looks like he's gonna cast some kind of weird spell on you. Um, yeah, that's gonna happen as you change the ether and, and you kind of change the uh, dynamics of that sound. The dynamics of the image changes a little bit. You get the stars going on up here. So that's really cool. And it's kind of like that with every instrument. And like I said, that's one of the things that I love right off the back is that these guys don't just have a cool UI, but the UI is integrated into the functionality of the VST itself. As you make changes, the UI changes. And that's pretty much it off of the, the initial part of the UI. If you go up top here in the UI, that's when you start to dig into what this thing can really do. Um, the perform page is the main UI. If you go to matrix, that's when you can start to really transform your instruments. Now, one of the other cool things about this instrument is it's transformative. So 
even though this thing comes with a whole bunch of presets, you can add sounds. You have six different sound engines right here. Um, this sound right here is only utilizing two, but if I wanted to, I could turn on the third sound engine and go through these sounds and add one. If you click over, you can go to samplers and you can make adjustments to any one of the instruments that you add. So we're on instrument number two here. You can change the velocity, you can change the volume. You can pan that instrument to the left or the right. You can change the EQ settings right here. And you have your saturator. And you can do that to any of the instruments that you add into any of the sound engine slots. Over here, self-explanatory, you have your arpeggiator. So you can really get into sound design in a really heavy way and sculpt your sound to your liking. If you move over to the next category, you have your master section and uh, you can really just go in in the master section. You have filters, you have delays, algorithmic reverb, lots of really cool things that you can play with. If you click up here in the top left corner, this is where you can go into the actual sounds. So over here on your left side is where you have your sound sculptures. Now, like I said, I only have five sound sculptures, but I believe they have a few more for sale. Um, I have Arca, Atma, Oracle, Rasa, and Ultrasonic Death Whistle. Now, I personally have found that the Atma sound sculpture works best for anyone who's doing hip hop or trap music. There's just certain categories of instruments. Like if you look over here in the categories, you have bells, you have arps, exploration. Um, there's certain categories that just work better for hip hop. Um, so like, just to give you an example, we'll go to bells. You have luminous chimes. Really good for that trap soul vibe. You have, uh, let's see, soul sediments. Let me, let me turn this off so you can see what's happening on the actual screen right here. And like I said, I can just click on parts of the UI and make certain effects changes. And you can also go to the matrix and make different individual effects to any one of the sound engines. As you can see, as I'm playing this sound here, all six of the sound engines are activated and you can make all kinds of changes to the gain, the pan, go over to the samplers you just do all kinds of really cool things oh the arpeggiator turn that on and you can turn on different variations of arpeggiations for different instruments so on slot five I have this arpeggiation going on but then I can go over to slot three which is the gong one turn that on maybe change the steps and change the speed. So you can really create some really dope textures and some really dope sounds with this thing. I love that. This is summoning Nell, Neil, Nell. Another bell sound, more bell sounds that sound really cool, really unique and different. Really dope. So like I said, man, the uh, the Atma sound sculpture works really great with um, trap hip hop beats. 
This arpeggiator is called initiation drums. This is called opening prayer. And now I want to get into where this VST shines. We're going to go through more of the sound sculptures. We're going to go through more of the presets. But just from me playing this, it, it reminded me that I needed to talk a little bit about where this VST shines. We already know it shines in the UI department. If you get the Atma sound sculpture, it works really good with hip hop and trap. But everything I talk about on this channel works really dope with hip hop and trap. You know, I'm a hip hop producer, so I always get VSTs that work good with that. Where this thing really shines, and I mean it shines, is in the scoring department. For all my composers out there that are trying to score huge sounding tracks, like if you're trying to score film, if you're doing an independent film and you need to score the background music for that, if you're doing a, a major production and you need to score the background for a movie, if you're even if you're working on an album and the album has interludes and things that need to sound big, the instruments in the Mandala VST are amazing for that. Now we're gonna go into the sound sculptures category. Um, we already went through some of the bells in Atma. They have this section here called Longs. Just really beautiful pads. That's called Dust Vibrations. That's called Elden Ruin. This is called Healing Pond. This is called Rumination. I'm definitely gonna use this one. So actually, I'm gonna mute this so that later on when it's time for the cook up, I can come back to that sound. We're gonna open up another track here so I can go through more of the instruments and we're gonna try a different sound sculpture. So let's try the Oracle, or let's try Arca. Turn up the intensity. There we go. Really cool stuff. Let's go to cornu Cornucopia. <laughs> This is called hexapads. Just really. Just really creative, really different instruments. This thing kind of sounds like a violin, but on crack. It's like a crackalin. I, I mean, I wouldn't have called this hexapads. I'd have called this crackalin. This sounds like a crackalin. just crazy this sounds are so different in this thing this is called brave new arcos and this is kind of an example of what i'm talking about about expansive sounds and how this stuff works great if you're scoring a film It's like nothing I've ever heard before. Just really dope stuff, man. Really, really dope stuff. Let's go to a different sound sculpture. Let's go into the Rasa.
driftwood. Just really creative stuff. This one is called War Cry. We're gonna try uh, Ultrasonic Death Whistle, another sound sculpture instrument that they have for the Mandala VST. You see, and this is what I mean by the, and this is what I mean by the UI being interactive with the uh, the functionality. When I turn Ether down, it's just one skull head, and it sounds more, it sounds more mono instead of stereo. It sounds very centered. It sounds like just a couple of people, whatever, or whatever this instrument is making this sound. Once I turn up Ether. The skull heads turn into five different skull heads. That reverb sounds more expansive and it sounds like way more scary voices than just that one. There's more skull heads here and it sounds like more skull heads. I'll turn the skull head down to one. It sounds more centered and more mono. I really love the attention to detail that went into creating this thing. It's just really, really dope. I'm really loving the sounds in all of these things. The theme across the board is no matter what sound sculpture instrument you get, you're going to get something really different and really creative. Just make sure you get the sound sculpture instrument that works best for what it is you're trying to do. That's the one thing I would stress in this review is I love Mandala. I think I think Mantra, I think Mantra Instruments is doing something really creative and really different just with their whole approach to what it means to be a VST. Um, but as a producer, I would say go into this knowing what it is you're looking for. And I think the really cool thing about this is there's something in this VST for everyone, for hip hop producers, for R&B producers, for pop producers, for like I said, for composers, for film composers. There's something for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I can't say enough great things about this VST. I really, really like this VST. Um, so what we're gonna do right now, without further ado, we're gonna get right in to the cook up. I'm gonna cook up something really dope for you guys using this VST. Well, I hope it's really dope. Let me not even jinx it. So to start it off, we're gonna go back to some of the instruments that I let, that I saved here. Like this one right here. Quick, let me change the intensity a little bit. That's a little, we don't need the fifths. change the intensity maybe add the reverb a little bit so the way I structured the sound this man is slightly above death his head is peeking out the water and he's seeing what's going on but he might just drown if I don't complete this beat in time so we're going to try to complete this beat in time so your man in the UI here doesn't drown to death. He prob he's probably going to drown to death, though. But we're going to see what we can do. it octane has a pretty cool uh in my bag drum kit let's see what's going on 
Yeah, let's see what that's about. And what I'm going to do for this drum, I'm going to add the core of presser just to give some more atmosphere and attitude in the background of the drum. So, so squeeze it a little bit and then put raise the input. Also gonna side chain the melody a little bit as well. that and just copy and paste the best ones because I'm pretty much doing the same thing over and over. All right, we'll do that. All right and then we're going to add some hi-hats to that too. Use my favorite thing for hi-hats, hat tricks. Um, it's 4th of July, I apologize. All right, now we got a few basic drums laid. Let's try to add another mandala instrument.
Dia butuh dah Mandala instrument. some 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 body to this beat some bass Bass in there, all right. I'm gonna add this one, something a little ominous in the background. Find a different instrument. That's crazy. started after that one there
again. Let's try that again. so this is a beat i put together really quickly obviously i can add a lot more to this i can do a lot more with this but i just wanted to put something together really quickly for you guys to just hear how the different instruments in mandala uh kind of can clash together in a in a really pleasing way in a really different way and you can get some really different sounding textures and different sounding beats um so uh here's the beat i made with it Okay, so that was it for Mandala. I think Mantra Instruments is doing a great job with their uniqueness and their attention to detail, their sound design. All of these things I think are top notch. I think you should just go into this knowing what it is you're looking for and then trying to find the proper sound sculpture that best fits that. If you go to their website, you can download uh, Mandala. The Mandala instrument is free and then you can purchase the different sound sculptures and you know you can just um apply them like expansions into the mandala instrument but i'm telling you mandala is fire it's great stuff very unique sound of stuff and it's definitely something that you guys are going to want to check out so as always leave a comment down below let me know if this is something that you guys are going to check out let me know if it's not something that you want to check out and then let me know why um let me know if there's a vst that you'd like to see me cover on this channel and with that said if you like what you see on this channel and you haven't already done so please hit the subscribe button and, and turn on your notifications so you can stay notified anytime I drop a new video. As always, it's great seeing you guys again, and I'll catch you on the next one.